Hi everyone, welcome to my February favorites. I'm going to be sharing with you all the things that I've been loving this month, and I feel like there's definitely a focus on pampering products and beauty products that have just really encouraged like me time, which is something that I feel like I've been doing a lot more in February. My first favorite has definitely been these two Lush products, um, Candy Rain Conditioner as well as the Hishan Wen Hua Hair Treatment. This Candy Rain Conditioner has been a new find for me. The description just made it sound incredibly rich and hydrating, which is exactly what I needed. The reason why I actually got this is because when I look at the ingredient list, the top products are water, cashew cream, Brazil nut milk, coconut cream, macadamia nut milk, and there's a lot of coconut oil and nut oil. The ingredient list looked really promising and having used it, I can definitely say that um, this is a really great product if you have very damaged dry hair. I don't find this product weighs my hair down at all despite how rich it is, which I think is super important when you have very very fine limp hair like I do. I started using this mid-month and I've already I've noticed a significant improvement on my hair and I had previously been using this like dry bar conditioner which is the worst thing I've ever used in my life so this has been a very pleasant improvement. So this Hishan Wenhua is a hair treatment, it's basically a hair mask and I am not joking when I say this is probably my 7th or 8th bottle of this um, over the course of the last like 7-8 years I've been using this brand. There is like sulfates in it and alcohol but there's also avocado, bananas, um, balsamic vinegar, olive oil, rosemary oil, like plenty of lovely natural and hydrating ingredients. This hair treatment always has a very very strong cinnamon smell and it does linger a little bit. I can definitely smell it after I wash it off and a little bit the next day as well. So I usually just use this by running it through the ends of my hair, probably from like the ye onwards. I, I put it into a bun and I leave it there for about 20 minutes before um, shampoo conditioning and like showering as usual. And I definitely come out noticing my hair is so much silkier, it's so much manage more manageable and I can brush through it a lot easier. And if you have damaged or even just want like a nice treatment for your hair, I would definitely recommend this. I have a body product to talk about from Lush. It is their very very famous Buffy body butter. And if you're a fan of the brand, I'm sure you've kind of seen this or picked it up in the store. It's a very oily bar, so when you touch it, you definitely can feel some of the oils on your hand. I use this in place of a body moisturizer, so in the shower, I'll just kind of run this over my skin. And then when I come out of the shower, my skin just feels incredibly hydrated. And it means that I just don't have to moisturize, which is something that I have been super lazy with. I've never been good at it, and I've just been trying to take care of myself a little bit more this month. And not have have like super scaly legs and yeah just look a little bit better in general um, as well. I love this product because of how easy it makes moisturizing and I can just do it quickly in the shower and also it smells amazing and has a bit of an exfoliating effect on my skin. So my eye makeup most days has been like a bronzy eyeshadow um, all over the lid and then slightly darker shade into the crease and the palette that I've been gravitating towards most is this Smashbox Covershot Golden Hour Eye Palette. I've been using these four shades a ton and for me they just create the most the most stunning, most gorgeous eye look. So it's actually the eye look I have on right now. I just find that this is such a lovely, easy to use palette. It's very fuss free and then you also have some darker shades for when you really want to amp up the look for a night out. I ran out of my um, Heroin Make Japanese mascara so I just popped into my local uh, Mecca and picked up this Urban Decay Perversion Waterproof Mascara. And I think I found my new like go-to mascara. So this is this is waterproof, which for me is essential because if you have like straight um, lashes, you'll know that you have to have a waterproof mascara to kind of hold the curl. The reason why I love this is because I actually find it incredibly volumizing and lengthening, and it just seems to hold my curl, but it's also super easy to remove at night. I personally find that with my Clinique Balm Cleanser, I just kind of massage my eyes a little bit and this comes straight off. Which I can't say about the Heroin Make Mascara, that was such a pain to remove. So, My new favorite, and I honestly feel like it makes my lashes look really good. Um, it adds a lot of volume and it's also pretty good for lengthening as well. So my next product is from Sunday Riley and it's their CEO Glow Face Oil. 
And this is a new discovery for me, but I am no stranger to the brand. A few years ago when I used to have cystic acne on my cheek, I used to use the Lunar face oil as well as this one called Artemis, which I think is now discontinued. I remember it so well because I remember the Lunar face oil actually kind of cleared up a patch of cystic acne I had that had been going on for months and months and months. Like it didn't cure my acne or anything like that, but it definitely calmed down the patch that I had. I saw that this had vitamin C and turmeric, two ingredients that I am obsessed with. I used to mix turmeric paste, a bit of honey and milk to create my own like acne face mask and I just know that ingredient works really well for my skin and then vitamin C has always been like a staple in my skincare routine. I've been using three to four drops of this every second night when I'm not using like a retinol. I just feel like my skin looks really plump, it doesn't feel too oily, it's a very lightweight um, silky oil which I like. It doesn't leave like a heavy like tackiness to my skin and I've definitely noticed when I've been using this, my skin does feel a bit brighter and it honestly also just feels really balanced and happy when I wake up in the morning. I have combination skin but I would honestly consider my skin like very problematic. I'm prone to like some acne right now, not a lot anymore but I'm also prone to getting these like little rashes and hives on my skin whenever it's feeling like too dry. Onto fashion and accessories, my only favourite that I have to share with you that you don't already know about is this Cezanne John dress. Um, so I'm not going to mention things like the a piece apart of shoulder top or the Doen dresses because I've just spoken so much about them. But this beautiful, beautiful dress has just come out as part of their pre-spring collection. You may have seen me wearing this a ton on Instagram if you follow me there. I've been wearing this dress every second day since I've gotten it. It's a mixture of silk and viscose and I say this about all dresses that I love but it has this like really beautiful um, movement to it. Like the fabric just moves around you in the nicest way. The colours on this are so vibrant and stunning. I just think paired with the raspberry red flowers, it just makes for such a fresh and interesting print. I feel like this is one of those dresses that if I paired it with like sparkly silver or gold shoes and a clutch, it would make for a really nice evening look. And then I, I throw it on a black blazer and I feel like it's very work appropriate. And then equally if I feel like I want to wear it with like a few buttons undone, I like lay it up on some necklaces, I also feel like this is a great like summer casual dress as well. I think my favourite thing is definitely the fabric. If you don't love the style of this dress, they also do this um, same print in the form of like a blouse. But this print and fabric for me is just such a beautiful one. So my next two favourites are these two pieces of jewellery from Majuri. So the first piece is this locket necklace. For me a locket is always one of those pieces of jewellery that I think is quite like alluring and mysterious. And I think it works really well with a lot of like more feminine looks um, as well. So this is a necklace that has like a 26 inch length chain. So it's a bit of a longer chain. And then it is fully adjustable so you can hook it onto any any of the links on the chain. So you can wear it longer, um, but you can definitely also just have it at the nape of your neck as well if you prefer. So this necklace is sterling silver with 14 karat gold plating over the top. I love the details on the actual locket itself. The chain is also a little bit different to your traditional chain, and I think it just has a really cool, unique um, texture and look to it. For as long as I can remember, gold hoops have always been kind of like my thing. Like I've always worn them, Always love them, they're definitely my favourite earring. I think gold hoops are a bit of like a signature to my personal style. It's just something that I have always been drawn to. I always feel like my outfit doesn't feel complete and until I put on like a pair of gold hoop earrings. So my my pick lately has been these boyfriend hoops from Majuri. Even though these are a hoop earring, they have a squared off edge, which I think is really cool and it just gives the earring a more unique look to it. So a quick shout out to my most worn bag this month, which has been the Acne Musubi bag. This is a bag that I love the style of. I think the little like ties at the side and the general design is very like aesthetic. But I think I just wanted to talk in general more about like a brown bag, which has been I feel like one of the key things in changing up so many of my looks this month. When paired with outfits I wear all the time, this brown actually makes a huge difference in creating a more effortless casual vibe. This has just made me realize how nicely this like warmer shade of brown pairs with my wardrobe and I have really been enjoying this one. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing some of my favorites over this last month. 
I personally really like doing these videos because I just feel like it gives me a chance to talk about things that don't really necessarily fit into any video idea. And it's also one of those videos that I just find to be a bit more casual and I just have a lot more freedom when it comes to filming it. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video if you did. Please subscribe for new video every single Thursday and I'll see you soon. Bye!